All right, so you've got UVI portal configured, you've got UVI workstation installed, updated, and you've got a couple of sound banks and you're ready to start making some music. There's a couple of different ways that you can browse your libraries and presets. So the first thing I'm gonna do is double click up here to open the browser right there at the top of the toolbar. And when I open the browser, I've got a lot of different choices of sound banks. If you have UVI portal configured properly, as I've shown, these will show up and already be mounted. Remember, they're kind of like virtual disk drives and you can unmount any ones that you're not using. But right now, I generally like to have all of mine mounted and I've got a pretty big library. It doesn't really slow me down. Now, from here, I can pick the library I want to look at and then I'll see some presets right within it. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'll go to JP Legacy. In that library, I've got three or four different machines. The Mercury 80, the Saturn 4, the Saturn 6, and the Saturn 8. So the 4 voice, the 6 voice, the 8 voice, these are all emulating some classic machines. So within that, once I've picked the machine I want to emulate, then I've got the ability to go through and look for different patches. So I've got categories, I can look at my bass sounds, my bells, my chords. I've also got an initialized mono sound, an initialized unison sound. So sometimes within these libraries, they'll give you initialized sounds that don't have anything set up, everything's set to zero, it's not a preset, it's almost like a starting point for you to create your own. But I can go within there, go to brass, and I'll double click and pick Mystic Horns. And now I've got a sound. And it's working and ready to roll. That's not the only way that I can pick presets within UVI Workstation though. Every instrument has a bit of a different paradigm to look at. So you might have an instrument where the presets are located right there within the browser, but don't get worried if the presets are not located within the browser. Just because it doesn't show them there doesn't mean that you don't have presets. For example, if I go to the instrument CSM, there's only one preset and that is CSM. So I'll double click it and go, well, I guess everything is just analog and you turn the knobs and that's the way it is and there's no presets. Well, no, up at the top of the screen, you'll see I've got a little preset drop down menu and I can click there and there's my presets from within this instrument. So within there, I can even browse right to left and just quickly page through the presets, which is kind of nice as well. Now there are some instruments that have a hybrid of this approach. So it's important to know that you've got a couple of different options. I'll go in and look at Beatbox Anthology, one of my favorite beatbox instruments. This one has some presets set here, elements for individual elements. If I wanna to listen to the hi-hats from a specific instrument, like the hi-hats from the analog R, I can go ahead and browse those individual sounds. If I want to listen to specific loops from these instruments that have been sampled. So I can go to the OMB2 and hear the March Foxtrot loop. So if I want to open up individual loops or individual sounds, I can. But I can also open up the entire Beatbox Anthology instrument and from within there, navigate to my presets. So again, up here at the top of the toolbar, you'll see I've got a little preset drop down. I open it up, I pick a preset, and bam, I've got the ability to play. So that's kind of like a hybrid between the two. I've got some things at the highest level where I want to work with just a hi-hat or just a kick drum in this instrument, but I've also got the ability to load up the entire drum kit and then navigate between presets right within the instrument itself. Those are our approaches for loading up different presets within UVI Workstation.